Great thinking about all this shit that's going on, all the beefs, all the battles, all the controversy that's going on. You know what I came to realize earlier when it came to our podcast and everybody else's? What's what? that, sir? Hey! Hey, bro. <laughs> Ass niggas thinking they can they fuck with like everybody. Us. Have they not like us. Yeah. They not like us. Different. Yeah. Yeah. You tuned in to the number one podcast coming out of Ohio. Goddamn. Hey. Y'all know what's going on, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Man. That's how you watch Hey, look. You. You. Uh. Shout out to Kendrick because that's gonna actually be able to get played in the episode, man. One time for him, man. One time. One time. All right. Let's let's get out of the Drake and the. Oh, that was perfect. Cause y'all not like us. Yeah, but our. That's a fact. They not, man. That was perfect. That was perfect, twin. Oh man, thanks, man. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So listen, it says the Peruvian government classifies <laughs> LGBTQ plus as mentally ill people. Hold I, on. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> we love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all. That's a fact, though. Yes. It says the Peruvian government has officially categorized what it said, the same thing. The country's health ministry justified that the decree as necessary to ensure comprehensive mental health care coverage within Peru's. Oh, that is fucked up. I ain't even going to finish reading that. You know what they're doing? They're basically trying to say, you got a if we can disorder. identify you, but not only that, but I don't think that you qualify for health care. What? That's what it's saying. Damn. That's what it's saying. The country's health ministry justified that the decree necessary to ensure comprehensive mental health care coverage within Peru's mm. Nublic Health Services. The move has sparked a backlash in the nation. Lawmakers previously prohibited references to gender equality mm. in school textbooks, adversely impacting educational efforts aimed at preventing domestic violence and femicides. Chuck, look up femicides for me. I don't, I've never heard of that before. Although the health minister, Cesar v Vasquez, says, oh, I'm sorry, has refrained from addressing the controversy directly. He has defended President Dina, whatever his last name is, decision. Mm, What's the word you got me looking up? Femicide, like Femicide. homicide, F-E-M-I, side. Intention, it's uh, intentional murder of women. Mm. So it's like genocide, but strictly oh, okay. limited to women. Mm. I don't know. Oh. I might name it. What, what? Hmm? Listen. No, I don't want no smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I like to end up, I'm I like to tread on waters. But so well, I feel like I need to do a disclaimer. Whatever. I'm responsible. Hello. It's Hold on, me. wait. One time, shout out our sponsors, Kiara Wine <laughs> and the Black Billionaire Company. I want to let you know that our opinion is strictly our opinion yes. only. And it is not the opinion of anybody else's, especially our sponsors. Especially our sponsors. Respectfully so. All right, go ahead. Now, what you say? Um, I think we have really taken this, like, homosexuality or the, the LBGTQAI plus Community. and some more shit. Uh, I think we be, like really <laughs> sensitive, sensitive that shit. I think you said L, L G L. Yeah, I think you fucked it up. No, nah, it's L B G T Q A I. No, it's no, no, it's, 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 it's A I plus. It's it's some more shit. It's some more shit. Now, I, I didn't. How I knew? I was walking through Walmart. Anywho, um, <laughs> we have to understand the moral compass that a lot of people come from, and everybody's not okay with the shit. Regardless of how society has made it acceptable or is trying to push the agenda to accept this shit, mm -hmm. everybody's not going to. Mm -hmm. And so when people stand up against it, why do we shame them for their belief system? Mm -hmm. That's a whole country. 
It's, it's no difference from us when we have Republicans or Democrats sitting here talking about what a woman can do with her body. I get what you're saying because it almost make it seem like because we might not agree with it, you try to make us seem prejudiced like, to or it. Like it's, or, yeah, like we don't have, like, yeah, so just because a, so, the majority say, ah, well, let it, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody I'm a, don't I'm feel a, like everybody, that. and I'm gonna stand up and, and so for those who I'm I'm not against them. I don't, I don't have you. a I don't have I a don't heaven or a hell to put anybody who loves the same sex or whatever the of fuck. Of course not, because your sister resort and I got a little brother, I got god brothers, all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't hate you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's but you what, respect their choice. But I respect. Yeah. I had and guess what? You got to deal with the one that. You got to deal with... You have to deal with what everybody has. Everybody. To. So I'm not going to... I don't try to condemn. I, uh, but if if it's morally right with me, I'm not going to beat... Like, okay, prime example. If one if a kid, if somebody's gay, I'm not going to beat them in the head for being gay. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if I was taught a certain way that it's a man or woman or whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. it's a way to guide or to try to show somebody a different way. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, and you because there's people that because yeah. okay, this is the same. Why some men? Hold on, wait. This let me ask you: Are you okay. saying show them that it's another way after they've already made their personal choice to to live how they choose? Because some people say that, like some people, I'm I'm asking. Yes, that's what you. Well, not not so much <laughs> that it's uh, what's natural and what's not. But what's the person that made their after choice? they done made their choice? Their choices, they choice. But you have choice, but me. you. Respect, but how did they make their choice? It ain't some got nothing to do with me. It don't. But some. But see, this is where we is deeper than that, and we don't do that shit. And that's some people like was molested, that, and yeah. they and that's all the fuck they know. They don't know nothing else, but mm -hmm. ain't nobody talking to them about anything else. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They done left this person where the fuck they at, and that's not yeah. cool. Yeah. It is cases of that. I've been around kids I, that have. And but, they also, have, but, there's but they also still have a choice to see if they might want to try that on their own. Respectfully so. But they might not want to. But some I people don't that. know how to come out them holes. Some people need that conversation. Some pop, somebody might need that moral compass or that spirituality, that conviction or something. Because it's people who live inside themselves who hate themselves for being the way they are or doing the things that they do. And they don't know how to get away from that shit. But us as mm -hmm. people, we look on the surface and we don't give a fuck about what's underneath it. So mm -hmm. we sit here and we judge and yeah. be prejudiced about certain expect shit. Expect people to and be we normal and shit. Come on, man. But yeah. sometimes... People don't need to try to change it, and they just need to learn how to come to terms and accept. Yeah, you feel me? It's Every so, case ain't the same. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying That's necessarily true. try to change the person. Because next minute, but if but but if a person, you you but if you trying to force okay, them. put like this, right? If you're hungry and all I feed you is pizza, that's all the fuck you probably gonna eat. Or that's all you're gonna expect to eat. You ain't gonna know nothing else. But if I sit here and give you options. But this is my thing, bro. And you and a explain that shit. One to have a, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't always got to eat pizza, or you might not like pizza. But, I only ate this because I was forced to eat. This see, shit. but you speaking on something to where a motherfucker don't know that there's other options. People that decide to choose to live however they <clears throat> decide to live, it's not like they're not allowed to go outside and, and see, see that it's something girls. other yeah. than what they mm -hmm. accept. They sell. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? True. And they so don't see it. Once somebody accepts what they accept, it's nobody's right to try to sway that or, you it's know what I mean? That you have to accept a motherfucker for who they, who they are no matter it's, it's what. It's up to them. I tell you what, I've been seeing a whole lot lately, but That's media true. do not want to broadcast it. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube of uh, people detransitioning. Respect, Detransitioning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, they had to go through that journey because they thought that this is what they wanted. And, and you know what's crazy they, about that? Me? They Before you go through a full transition, they make you go a couple years and the, just to make sure that that's therapy. something that you know therapy. that you want to do. That's what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, they make you go yeah. to therapy and everything yeah. before you go and make this transition. So just think about how crazy that is. Mm. So to say, that's why you don't have to try to uh, guide nobody nowhere because they gonna get to where they going all on their own. When right? I say when I say guide is more so a conversation is talking, <clears throat> and we don't talk to people who. We don't we don't talk to everybody. And again, the whole reason that I'm saying this is because either A, I know people who are like who have been through that mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? It's one thing if this is just what you like and that's what you like. So you feel like but it's a, a lot of people, but it's a lot of a conversation. It, you will be surprised where a conversation could lead somebody else on their, where they thinking, how they their lifestyle, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. It, if one feel they gonna be whatever, they gonna be whatever. That's on. That's I said. That's on between them and God. But, but I feel like no, nope, a lot of people didn't. A lot of us didn't have certain conversations. Just imagine if somebody would have had a conversation with you, how that would have altered your life. But do you know how many people that's had right. tried to have conversations? And this don't got nothing to do with sexual preference. This just about growing up and deciding that you want to do what you want to do when you want to do it. You know how many people then tried to have conversations with me and that shit went whoop, uh-huh. whoop, whoop. Woo! Like, you had to learn. I, I decided to turn into a better person when I decided it was nothing nobody could tell me, say to me, or but try you, to learn me to make me go in. You see what I'm saying? But what now, but where you getting at is that's like a time. That's a time frame. Same difference. Somebody The just, conversation can be had at any time. You just weren't mature enough to receive whatever the fuck somebody was giving you. That's why I went whoop. Who's to say? When somebody's ready to hit, take they, when yeah. it's when when it's being said and they're at that point, <coughs> it's gonna be received. And you can have that conversation at any but time. But sometimes it gotta come from the right person too. Like somebody could tell you, you could hear the same shit a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? But you hear it from that one person and it finally, you know what I'm saying, sink in. You know, but is it maybe influence got a little bit something to do with it too? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> Just, just, just your upbringing. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, I believe you already got it in your head. You know what I'm saying? Who you want to be or how you want to live up to a certain age, anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro said, it really ain't too much anybody can tell you. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through the hardship or the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And figure out what you like, what you don't like, anyways. You know what I'm saying? That's what life is about. Period. Uh, so- but. Okay. It's just like can't nobody make you do you know what I'm saying? It's anything you know what I'm saying? Think like about, a motherfucker gonna do what a motherfucker gonna do, bro. Like, period. Think about how many times a motherfucker be like, leave that girl alone. Mm-hmm. That girl ain't no good for you. And your ass. So that girl don't got her best interest for you. So I'm a, that girl. She she cheating on you. <laughs> so I'm asking this. Girl, but a nigga be like, no, I love her. I love her. So mama. is that is this what you say to this five or this six or this seven year old? Or this eight year old, or this nine year old. But, but, but even still, hold on, because we because he's because I'm about to. They shouldn't even be thinking about they, boys and but girls. But they are. But they are. But that's because they of society today. But listen, exactly. I didn't think about all that shit when I was we're, a kid. We're in a at different, at different, different age, baby. You can't go. You can't compare what's going on now to then. But bro, even still, you could tell them what it's supposed to be at that age. You see what I'm saying? That's right. But if your child tells you. That they like another. Wow, if it's crazy. I like, like another boy in I my love class. How we making each other's points. If ahead. if your child tell you that I like this this boy in my class, mm-hmm. you could tell him. Well, you know, man is supposed to be with woman. Man is supposed to what is it? Procreate. Man is supposed to procreate with woman and create. And that's not da 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 da. And you could tell them that. But if they feel deep down in their heart. That I was. What do you do? You can't. You, you can't chastise them for that. You it's can't. not. It's not chastising. It's guiding and teaching. There are kids. So what I do you kids, do? You you parent. Okay. That's exactly. What you, no, it's hold parental on. Parental Wait, no, discretion listen, is listen. advised. No, I'm what giving you kids, a certain situation. I want you to give me a play by your I'm, your son is yes, right sir. here. He's so, he's right looking there. at you in your face. Right there. No, not him. Because my nephew, but a different son. He's okay. An imaginary about. son okay. tells you he's five years old. And he's looking you in your face and he's telling you, I like a little boy in my class. You, Whoa. right now, what do you tell him? Go. What, what do you mean you like him, son? Explain to me what you mean by what you mean do you like him as a friend, son? Is that somebody that you want to call over and play the game with? I want to try to understand what my five year old. And once you understand is, that he likes this boy like romantically, what do you tell him now? Yeah, that's a negative. What do you mean? Yeah, boys don't like boys like that, son. And what? we're not. We're, we don't. I, it has to be. He has to know that because mm-hmm. it's something. It's something either. Nobody just wakes up and say, "Ah, oh, I like this." 
Yeah. You see something. Mm -hmm. This is why we, our kids watching fucking cartoons and shit. Uh -huh. And we don't care Thanks. about the cartoon. Uh -huh. They think it's okay. We think the shit boring <laughs> as fuck. But yet our son is watching yep. some shit to make him think that it's okay to rub yep. up on this he other little boy. That's not so realistic. yeah, he sees somebody. It, it is, is. No, today. Wait, wait. Can I talk? Let me talk. Let me talk real quick. Are you it's serious? Very, I'm not dead realistic. Ass. Maybe, is maybe, very serious. maybe my parenting I with my child. With you, bro. My son didn't really have his first real girlfriend until until high school. But like game. I, 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 maybe oh, my no. parenting was different. So uh, a, a five-year-old, a five-year-old should not be thinking about if they like a girl or a boy. No, they go to preschool, they <clears> play with blocks but and stuff like that. Realistically, they now, do. If somebody is influencing it, I think it's a difference between either you're being influenced. Or you you got good parenting and your child eventually ends up wanting to like the opposite sex. It's a difference. Now, if they being influenced, then yes, I feel like you. You can try to talk them, talk to them, and whatever. When I say influence, wait. When I say okay. influence, I had a homie, and she used to have her son around all the time. I'm talking about letting him, letting uh, like she'll be doing her hair. He, oh, mommy, your hair is so cute. Mommy. Like he started developing girly ass ways because of that. Now that's influence. And yeah, you can talk to your, mm -hmm. the child and try to sway them out of that. But when a child have never been influenced and everything, and they just like, you know what? Shoot, I like I like girls. I like this. Because everybody don't go get I, sexually molested or yeah. anything done to them. And that's that, and that's true. Mm -hmm. I was it was itching me. Prime example: I have a six year old yeah. little girl. Me, bro, I think I even brought this situation you to you. Tell me, go ahead. Prime example: she's six years old, right? What's going on in the home? Ask this little girl what she want. She wants to be married and have kids. My hey, six-year-old, hey, sorry, my six-year-old is saying she wants to be married and have kids. When I'm like, can barely spell your fucking name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my daughter likes Disney. She likes the cartoon. You got to monitor that shit. So what she's watching is the princess is getting married. The influence of it. Ah. Uh, so again, your kids, what they see is now playing on their imagination. You have to monitor that. Because I tell you and, and so again, that ha is happening today. Us as parents, I told we are about messing the SpongeBob ball. story with my son. Remember I told you that? And everything, you everything you is. You have to monitor listen, that shit. But as parents today... Let's We're go. less involved or less willing to engage into what our kids are watching because it has no to us. So we look, it. you That's saying you get this now, get this. Okay. If he's sitting there telling his son it's a negative, mm -hmm. you can't be gay, or you ain't supposed to like that. And then as your son get older, he still feels that way. Are you going to still tell your son that? Because at some point, it's going to be like you're going against your son's a feelings. Point, how yeah. your son feel? Like I what believe, do you? Now, if that's Are still you going, going to, on, yeah, of course, you're going to have to face the music. But I do believe, like, you have a way better chance at influencing your child when they're young not to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? And they'll grow with with morals instilled in them. You know what I'm saying? So that that's just, I see the point, bro, trying to make. Like, but... Like like I said, a motherfucker gonna do what a motherfucker gonna do. I'm not putting it past. The, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's just I'm not saying it's to there, be there's not a chance. But it has to you know be a correction. Saying, you can't just let a motherfucker to think that whatever they thinking is okay. A lot of mm -hmm. shit that we think we know is not okay. Just because we think that shit or we feel that it's shit, a, it's not okay. It's something in you on the moral side that you feel and it's not okay. And we cannot allow our kids to do that shit. That's why the generation is fucked up. I believe it comes sure down I, to influence. That's why it's fucked I'm up. I'm going to make sure I monitor and I'm a parent yeah. the whole 18 years as much as I can. Thank God. I'm, I'm I happy believe my boy But again, I'm not I'm against nobody. I'm happy my boy got a girlfriend. Shout if out that's to my what, son. If that's what but they're, my son would have just been like, Mom, I like men. I I at, I would be like damn because I want grandkids, but at the same time I would know that I was a parent that made sure I monitor and I did the best and I know I didn't influence that in him. So hey, he's gonna have to find out on his own. Yeah, because like, and that's what and, and that's where it comes I ain't gonna to. lie, like I can't change. My uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like I grew up, I was raised by my great grandmother mm -hmm. slash grandmother slash Mama. mother you know what For i'm sure. saying mm -hmm. type shit i had my uncle you know what i'm saying that was probably like my only father figure yeah. around you know what i mean so like 
My mom always doing here. Gigi always cooking. Nana always babysitting. You know what I'm saying? Taking us places to eat, things yeah. like that. Of course, I've had a, 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 a feminine influence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Above all else. But, like, my uncle always... Yeah, boy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my uncle was a huge influence. You see them legs, boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see that booty over there, boy, and I'm oh. like, oh, yeah, <laughs> no, you know what I no mean? Cap. Like, you know, feel me? Like, it was just influence slash, He's you know what I'm saying? Me. You just ain't hitting that. Parenting, you feel me? Like, <laughs> Come just, on, man. Chris, it's as it's you It's parenting and upgre- you upbringing, I believe, you know what I'm saying? Like, the influence is is, is major, man. No, and, no. And, major. The, and the impact of it, you got to think. When we look back, shit has got watered down so much. From like when we was younger, our parents was like, "Damn, y'all wilder than y'all, y'all wow." Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We was wilder than they generation. Now we saying the same shit that they was saying about us. I think that shit. They, lie. Bro, they ain't gonna lie. Nah, these little niggas. But, but hold on, but listen though, <laughs> these little niggas. This, wow, look Ooh, how please. everything has just degraded. It just got worse and worse. Cause ain't no more big mamas. Facts. Grandparents is thirties. Our we teenager. parents already a teen. We was, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's getting worse. Mm-hmm. And either there is no male presence and this is still going on or mm-hmm. there is a male pre- presence and it might not be as strong. And for the ones that but is strong, some, it's... But, bruh, there, you have to be naive if you don't think that there's people in this world that has a male presence that's there. And they still what? And they still grow up and and choose whatever they choose, bro. Hello. No, and that, <laughs> but at that point, you make a conscious decision. What I at the end of the day, what they grow up to make is one thing. Mm-hmm. But that's why I brought up when I said, "What well, do you say that to the five? But or if the they six, grew up to be that, it was always in them from the beginning. But what bro. do you teach them? They see, but that see, okay, that's, no, like, that's, 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 that's like that's like whatever your mama taught you. What you grew up and you made your own. Your mama taught you, yeah. but you made when you got to it, you made your decision to okay. do what the fuck outside or of what you was taught. How about the ones that, on, that, that fake it for so many years and and holding it in from their parents and and mm-hmm. my cousin, uh, he he, as soon as he graduated. He end up uh, moving to Atlanta, and he's living his life freely. And when he comes back to to dating a visit, that nigga be trying to act like a you feel me. Right. But we know his, what's really you going on. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like oh, he living. A, he just need to be straight up. He living a double life. What's up, Chuck? I seen you wanted to get yeah, something. Off. I want. I want to ask you guys all a question. Uh, speaking on the influence and all that. So, do you think the solution is to control the influence or expose them to all of their options and then let them choose? I'm not exposing nobody to nothing but the. F- well, okay, the, let me mm-hmm. let me change. Let me rephrase that. Then, do you think because you the world is going to limit their options of influence, or do you think you should allow them to take their own journey and find their own influences? I. That's a good ass question. Okay, sir. yeah, it is. I, what I say is, I, what I would do is I would try to show my kids what I was taught, what I was brought up off of. Yeah. Man and woman, da da da. You see, I love you. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not going to shun my kids or treat them any type of way or not love them if they grow up to choose. Mm -hmm. To you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. I would be I would be hurt, but I would be more hurt because of the shit that they gonna have to go through. Because it's for every motherfucker that that accepts it. It's three motherfuckers that don't. Don't yeah for Mm -hmm. sure. You feel me? So. I did like I would hurt just to know the the journey that they gonna go through in life before it's hey. you feel me. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm gonna love my kids forever. Where the blood at? It's different. I'm a, I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna teach my son to play with no Barbie dolls. I'm gonna teach him to play, go out there and ride a bike, do some things that a boy is supposed to do because of the world that we live in today. Damn, they supposed to, you know. All right, man, but you know, live live your truth. That's what I say. Yeah, yeah respect yeah. it. All right, so look, I'm going to go ahead and play this. That was, that was good. Mm, that was good, yeah. y'all. That was, fire. that was good, That y'all. was a good one. That was a that good one. Good. That, was, that boy good. Yeah. What is that, velvet? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.